let's talk about people losing their shirts. Quite literally, this article, lift your shirt, shake out your bra, police search. When a lady says no, she means no, except to the police in Lakeland, Florida, where Officer Fetz pulled over a lady on a routine traffic stop and asked her to shake out her bra twice. Then he asked her if he could search her car, and she said no. Maybe he really trained at the TSA. Chief Womack issued a statement saying that there would be a full investigation. I'm G. Giornetta with an InfoWars Nightly News Alert. So this woman was pulled over for a busted light, not any type of weapons charge. She wasn't running boatloads of coke. She was pulled over for, for a light, and the guy says, get out your car and lift up your shirt. Basically makes her get naked on the side of the road. And for more on that, we have Gigi Arnetta, who actually made that report. All right, Gigi, so we just saw that clip. Uh, you actually stayed late yesterday to make that because that's such an important piece to you. Tell us, tell us more about it. Well, the, the bottom line is people are being pulled over all the time and uh, really unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. and when I saw this come over the desk yesterday, I just... I was, I couldn't believe it. This woman is wearing a Ninja Turtles t-shirt. Mm -hmm. She's obviously not a terrorist. You know, um, the guy pulled her over because she had a broken taillight. And then the next thing you know, he's asking her to shake out her bra. So he has her like lift her shirt up twice mm -hmm. and then asks her to search the car. And she says no, and he does it anyway. Right. So I I'm not exactly sure why this officer felt so threatened as to uh, what she may be carrying in her bra. You know, I guess, you know, some people may hide drugs or whatever, but she was pulled over for a, for a light out. That's correct, right? Right, and, and she's young and she wasn't, she just, you could just tell by the video she wasn't guilty. You can just tell, you know, and even mm. if she was guilty, he didn't handle it right. But this is happening all the time. This is yes, we has, actually have some more examples of that. If we can get these, get these ready. I want to go to this. Trooper indicted after roadside cavity search of two women. Now, this is something we reported on a little bit ago on InfoWars. This is a situation for our viewers that two women were pulled over. A cavity search was conducted. Why? I'm not exactly sure why they felt the need to subject these women to a cavity search on the side of the road. You can see right there on that image, people are driving by as this is taking place. And the kicker about it was the trooper used the same glove on both women. There's all sorts of problems with this. First of all, it happened in Dallas. It was nighttime, and you can hear the officer over the radio saying to the female cop not to get out of the car until the traffic passed because it wasn't safe anyway. So mm -hmm. they weren't in a safe place to be doing this. Um, and then cavity searches for what? Mm -hmm. It's never in the video. You can see what reason there is right. to do this. And honestly, it was disgusting. This woman went all out, put her hands in places that she should not. It was not... A pat down like the, you know, well, from most cases of the TSA. Mm -hmm. It was a true cavity search. And she used the same gloves on both people for no reason. Still to this moment, we don't know what that was all about. But yeah, I, I, that was always the kicker about it. Because it never needed to happen in the first place. Even, But if you were to do something like that, why would you not change your gloves? I, I don't know. And then the girl says... I was violated to the other cop. You can hear it over his, you know, microphone. I was violated. I've never had anything that's happened. I don't know why I got pulled over. I mean, the whole thing. And then he says, well, you know, it's because somebody was smoking in your car. So because somebody was smoking in your car, they have to violate you on the side of the road and view the full public. They feel like they can pull you over. I had an officer in L.A. once. Uh, I was with my friends. One of them smoked. I let them smoke in my car. And that was one of the comments that they gave me. You let somebody smoke in your car? And I'm thinking, no, this is still the United States of America. If someone wants to smoke in my car, and I said, yes, I don't think there's a problem. Mm -hmm. But it seems to be pretty common. Oh, yeah. Now, we got one more here. I want to go to this article. Woman sexually assaulted by Las Vegas marshal judge ignores her cries. Now, Gigi, I believe you saw this, this video as well. Oh. This was a situation, the young lady you see right there on the screen. She goes to child court. Child oh. court. Uh, last time I was in the court courthouse I had to go through a uh, a metal detector just to enter the building but this woman goes to child court and one of the marshals says hey I need to see you outside the lady steps outside I need to pat you down and the lady's like why do you need to pat me down I just need to pat you down and the officer says can you lift up your shirt mm -hmm. she said I do not feel comfortable one bit with that can I have a female officer the guy's not too happy about that takes her back into the courtroom the lady tells the judge judge this man just just asked me to uh, to see my 
private areas, and I'm very unhappy about this. And Marshall says, hey, arrest this woman. She says, what? Yeah, okay, you want to jump in? And tell not, me, tell not me about it. Not only that, her little daughter, I think she was two, was in the room with her little stuffed animal, and the judge is a female judge, mm -hmm. ignores her, starts playing with her child in front of her, exactly. while this guy goes and, and has another officer start to try to handcuff her, and he says, the only way you're going to get out of this is to sit down here in front of this recorder and retract your statement. Mm -hmm. So she sits down, not wanting to do it. As soon as she sits down, she, she can't... This man and just starts going off. You know, he he. I asked for a female, and anyway, it turns out they arrested her. Mm -hmm. They put her in the clink for a night. Oh yeah. Sent her child to protective services because of this man. And this man is now asking. They put him. I don't know if it's leave or they fired him. I believe he was fired. He was fired, but he's asking for his job back, and he's actually suing. Yeah, and the way this lady found out about this, I do encourage everybody to go and watch this video for yourself. But well, she was contacted by the uh, the news agency who was covering the story who had told her that uh, I guess somebody followed up on this and it got the guy fired. And it, it's a very disturbing situation because you look at this, uh, you're in a courtroom of all places. Yeah, you can see the, the judge right there playing with the daughter. Court. Family court. Family court, nonetheless. Family court. She's arrested by another officer after claiming that the officer violated her, or, you know, asked to see her, uh, her private areas. This was completely ignored, and then the woman's locked up. And you can see the little girl, sir, please don't take my mommy to jail. I mean, I, I was watching this, and I, started, I was starting to tear up. I, I could not believe that they would do this to the kid. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's awful what they did to the mother, but that poor child will be traumatized with that for the rest of her life. Exactly. And this is all because this man wanted to... You know, he was trying to Google this woman. Hey, he had you know, no reason. Like I said, when you go to a courthouse, they have security there. You walk through a metal detector, you know, whatever the case may be. And this man felt the need in the courtroom to ask this woman to disrobe or go out in the hall and disrobe, yeah, which well, doesn't make it any better. Well, this happens at the TSA. I've had it happen to me when I go through security I'm, where they want you to take things off. And I'm like, seriously? Mm -hmm. You know, I had a zipper sweater once. And he told me to take it off, and I'm like, sir, I'm not really wearing very much under this. I thought he was kidding. He was an mm -hmm. older guy, and he, he stayed on me, would not let me go through security without taking my sweater off. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being one of those things where I just said, I had people lined up behind me, and I thought, all right, what's happened in Burbank, you know? The guy turned blood red. I had a bustier underneath and he just you know what but, but you know it was kind of like a, really people right. were cracking up it was to the point where you know you see people go through the tsa in their swimsuits or their trunks just yeah to, people protest to, uh, yeah that they, was they, my protest yeah. i busted out and i was i was done with it that's the second time in burbank i had problems so so there's a first you had a the, was there a similar time, situation I, the first or? time i went to look the tsa has all kinds of problems but i even had them when they searched my my baggage i'll never forget this takes out personal items, mm -hmm. underwear, okay? And we'll just say, he just pulls it out from there. Oh, look at this. And swinging it around. I'm like... He, he really swung it I around. I swear, he did. And, and people behind me were like, everybody was mortified. It's like, what is he doing? Is he going to do that to my stuff? I mean, you know, that's... Kind of weirdos they have working in places. <laughs> no, but it was Burbank Airport. So if you go through Burbank, just be careful. I'm going to try to avoid yeah. that altogether. Well, Gigi Arnetta, thank you. And I uh, hate to see these, these things happen. I'm glad no. you're covering it. I think we need to do this at least once a week. There's just so many bad cops. There's good cops, but these guys need to be stopped. We need to expose them. All right. Thank you, Gigi. All right. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid.